Welcome back to Epic Hero Fitness. I'm Philip Molina and today's workout day three. And today's workout has an even split. You're gonna be working for one minute, then resting for one minute. The good news is that you only have to work through each movement for one cycle. So push yourself during each interval as that's the last time you're gonna to have to do those today. If you're just getting started on your fitness journey though, remember to pace yourself. Take it slow and steady. Also, during each minute of exercise, we're gonna have more Epic Nerd trivia on the screen, so play along. Let's get started. All right, first minute is high knees. You guys know this one, right? You lift one leg at a time, drive your knee to or above your waistline, then alternate leg position at a pace that matches your fitness level. Just trying to elevate heart rate and burn some calories. Let's get started with our trivia too. What have been all of the uses of the fully powered Infinity Gauntlet? We got snap number one, where Thanos made half the life in the universe go away. We got snap number two, where the destruction of the stones takes place. We got snap number three, where the Hulk brings everyone back. And then we have snap number four, destroying Thanos and his army. All right, now for some jumping jacks. You're gonna begin from a standing position with your feet shoulder width apart with your arms at your sides. In one fluid motion, jump to a position with your legs in a wide stance and your hands overhead. Then jump back to the starting position. You know how to do a jumping jack. But the key here is to keep a steady pace so that you actually start and finish in the same spot with good form. And here's my next question. Who were the Asgardian warrior companions of Thor? Thor's buddies are Lady Sif and the Warriors 3, who are Fandral, Volstagg, and Hogan. All right, time for some bodyweight squats. You're gonna begin in that standing position with your feet shoulder width apart, maintain a straight back, bend your knees, lowering yourself so your thighs are roughly parallel with the ground. And try to keep that chest up, weight on your heels, make that alignment from your shoulders to your butt, from your knees to your ankle, 
those should be parallel. Then you'll push back up to the fully upright position and repeat, feeling the leg burn the whole time. For another question. In phase one of the MCU, three movies take place during the exact same week. What are they? Iron Man 2, Thor, and The Incredible Hulk all somehow take place in the same exact week. What a week! Up next, side leg raises. Begin from a standing position with your feet shoulder width apart and in a controlled manner, swing or raise one leg laterally to the side while keeping both legs generally straight. Try to position your body weight entirely on the planted foot that helps you keep your balance and then return your raised leg to center with some control. And then just alternate and raise the other leg. Make sure to maintain a good tempo that doesn't sacrifice your form or your balance. I know you've heard this question before. What does SHIELD stand for? All right, rest time. And what SHIELD stands for is Strategic Homeland Intervention Enforcement and Logistics Division, SHIELD. Use this minute to memorize that, because that's a lot of words. It's time for some butt kicks. You're gonna begin from that classic standing position, feet shoulder width apart. And you're gonna kick one foot back, bending at the knee with the goal of your foot heel smacking your booty. If you're not there yet, that's totally fine. Just do this at your own pace, alternating sides and just try to keep your thighs pretty stable. This action should look like it's pretty much only happening from the knee down. It's basically running in place without swinging your thighs at all. And as usual, we're just trying to find a pace that elevates your heart rate and gets you into that burn zone. Quick side note, if it gets too hard, that's totally fine. Just slow it down to a simple marching pace. All right, go ahead and kick your own ass. Next question, what is the entirety of the Thor hammer enchantment?
All right, you ready? Odin enchanted Thor's hammer with whosoever holds this hammer, if he be worthy, shall possess the power of Thor. All right, time for some plank leg raises. Assume that push-up position with your body forming a generally straight line from your shoulders to your feet. Lower yourself onto your elbows, tightening your core, and brace yourself with your forearms on the ground. Raise one leg off the ground as high as you can while keeping it straight and maintaining a strong plank. Then lower it back down and just alternate the movement with the other leg. Remember, we don't like sagging here. Lifting your butt into the air is also no-go. Also remember to breathe. If you need to simplify this a little bit, you can still do the leg raise the same way, but do your plank from your knees, keeping one knee on the ground throughout. All right, next question. It's the end of Avengers Infinity War. Thanos has just snapped. Which heroes get dusted? The heroes that we lose at the end of Infinity War from the snap specifically are Black Panther, Doctor Strange, Drax, Falcon, Groot, Hank Pym, Mantis, Maria Hill, Nick Fury, Scarlet Witch, Shuri, Spider-Man, Star-Lord, Wasp, and the Winter Soldier. Some of those happened off screen, but hey, we're trying to make it a little hard to memorize these. Time for some mountain climbers. Assume a push-up position with your body forming a generally straight line. Drive one knee toward your chest and alternate legs at that pace that matches your fitness level. During the movement, make sure to maintain a straight back so you gotta keep the butt down. Core engaged as always. Remember you can slow it down if you need to. You can make it so that your toe taps between each step or you could elevate yourself. That also makes it easier. Here's one of your last questions. What is the song that Star-Lord dances to at the end of Guardians of the Galaxy in his dance off to save the universe and who's it by? Dance Off at the End of Guardians is one of my favorite songs actually by the Five Stair Steps. Ooh child, things are gonna get easier. Which they are because there's only one exercise left. All right, time for your last exercise of the day. 
plank jacks. Assume a push-up position with your body forming a generally straight line from your shoulders to your feet. And you can stay up like this or make it a little harder by lowering yourself onto your elbows and bracing your forearms on the ground. Either way, tighten your core. Now, while holding this position, bounce your feet from a narrow stance together to a wider stance farther apart, then back together and repeat. Remember to keep the plank straight and that core tight. And the last trivia question of this workout, you guys know this one, what are all of the infinity stones? All right, the infinity stones are the space stone, the reality stone, the power stone, the mind stone, the time stone, and the soul stone. Guys, you did it. Way to push through and finish another workout. Remember, go drink a ton of water, have a good stretch, and eat some healthy food to help your body rebuild. I'm so glad I get to be with you on another chapter of your epic hero journey. It's your origin story, guys, and you're killing it.